Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Well, guys, this is what we did over on Patreon. This was a uh, Patreon exclusive. Uh, a lot of interesting stuff over there. We want to thank our newest patrons. We want to say a huge thank you to Fisher of Men, Miles, David, Trust No One, and W3S33. Thank you. 33. Ooh. Ooh. Thank you guys so much for being part of the family and your support. It definitely keeps us going. So in an Easter ruling, a judge ordered the release of those border riot migrants who overwhelmed the National Guard, uh, including one that appeared to be reaching for uh, an armed w weapon. Yeah, this I, it, it just doesn't surprise me at all. Not not at all yet. There are some things moving forward in a positive direction. As you see this, this is from Peter from Sweden, and there's multiple sources talking about this, including uh, the Louisiana law system itself. The Senate in the state of Louisiana just voted to ban all rules and mandates from the WHO, WEF, UN, etc., etc., etc. That is is just absolutely wonderful in my mind you know this is what this is kind of you know how we uh see things going there's going to be a disintegration and it's going to come out in pockets uh, a disintegration where there are going to be certain people in certain areas that are just simply going to refuse to go along with uh these dates for men we've been calling them that come out of these <clears throat> organizations which really aren't elected by anybody. Not that that really makes a difference that we're learning in this world that has any uh, election really truly mattered. And uh, I would venture to say, in, in my mind, not really so much on the big scale. On the small scale, yeah, they can matter. Because, again, they're, they're controlling as much as they can. They can't control every single little thing. They can't control, you know, each one of our uh, minute decisions that we make every day. So this is, as it says, absolutely massive news. Louisiana Senate just unanimously voted to pass a bill that would ban any rules and mandates coming from the WHO, the WEF, the UN from being enforced in their state uh yeah none of the mainstream media is talking about it and this is coming from another spot talking about the the same thing now it's gotta go to the louisiana house so it hasn't been adopted yet so it has to pass the house side but it has passed the senate side so this is wonderful and it, it this is what it says in in its in the bill itself no rule regulation fee tax policy or mandate of any kind of the who un and the wef shall be enforced or implemented by the state of louisiana or any agency department board commission political subdivision governmental entity of the state parish municipality, or any other political entity. If it passed 37 to 0. So it's based on uh, James Madison's advice for states and individuals in the Federalist Papers, which I talked about years and years ago. Uh, again, this is just hopeful. This is hopeful. Again, pockets. And I, I don't think that even, you know, whole states will necessarily still be whole states in most cases. I think everything's going to get reworked. Things are going to break down into much, much smaller components, which just think about this. What have they done? They, they are ever increasing the size of governance, making things larger and larger and larger. So, you know, counteract it by breaking it down into smaller pieces. I find it very exciting. To me, this is very, very good news, although I, I tend to um, kind of just hold myself back a little bit till I see it in the free and clear. 
look at it cynically in some ways. Always. Yeah. <laughs> Always. Trust no one. I'm with you. Um, but but that that's just kind of what the control system has created within me from one trauma to the next, from one deceit to the next. You know, everything that comes out is not what it appears to be so that's just where i hold myself and and i don't see anything wrong with that so i just don't get excited i don't get attached to anything but you know i i celebrate it this is this is good news and then hopefully even if it does pass the other one you know the ones at the local level aren't going to try to pull anything so i i don't think so i mean these folks seem very down to earth they seem very honest and sincere I like to hold on to that hope for uh, things at a local level, whereas the higher level, they definitely have a, a reason to want to power grab and control, you know, because it feeds their energy, it feeds their ego, it feeds their their pocket, their finances. So we'll, we shall see and remain hopeful. Yeah, and, and we, we felt this traveling across the country uh, during lockdown. You know, we, we felt as you crossed state borders things can change instantaneous the way that it felt like you're in a different country and even within a state like for instance uh we we stopped we, and we were traveling with friends at the time they were also in a camper um and we, we were scouting looking to see where where are we gonna route um we went in flagstaff we went into a, a store there for for uh, organic food and stuff and it was in Flagstaff, which we, we, we like the area, it's beautiful, it's a little bit expensive for us, we couldn't afford really anything there per se, um, but it was beautiful, and yet it felt very, very good, Stoppo-ish, one person in, one person out. We go to Springerville, uh, Eager, over uh, closer to the New Mexico border, and we walk into a place with the face coverings that were mandated everywhere else, Nobody had anything on their face. Same state. And everybody looked at us like we were crazy. Why are you guys, you know, walking in with your bandanas covering your face? You know, I, I, it was just night and day. It couldn't get any more different. Uh, and it, again, same state, different counties, totally different vibes. This is how I think it's going to uh, break down in some ways. And yes, again, we, we are under invasion and under attack, and you got to think about where you are. This is why so many people have been leaving, like the wonderful state of California, with all its natural beauty. Um, and yeah, there are pockets in there, I think, that people will be still okay, even though they're in that state which leans as far left as you pretty much can. I, there are pockets. There are pockets that will be isolated. There are pockets where they're not going to bother really to police it. I don't. I don't see even even if we're invaded by, you know, Russia and China and other nations. There's going to be so much resistance going on, in, and there is in Russia, in China. You know, there's there's been. Uh, all, uh, even in China, where you know you can again disappear and then check into that Uyghur hotel and never check out again um, so quickly and easily there's still people resisting uh, even in, in that particular environment so you know th they're not going to be able to control all of us they understand that and and this is part of the reveal so it, it's better to be in those pockets and places that are going to openly say no and resist um, wherever that may be. And I think you can find those in different places as a, you know, that Arizona example, for instance, again, couldn't be any different, any more different between those two. And New Mexico, it just felt atrocious as much as we, we loved the state. It was like, it was just insane passing 20 cop cars in a, t in a town of 200 people. <clears throat> and and literally having a dozen or more um, state troopers and cops <clears throat> staring at you uh, as you drive by, it, it just felt very, very uh, uh, ominous. And we were just quickly done with that and crossed over the border into Texas. But, you know, again, you have to go with your gut, too, because we're each here for a different purpose as well. And uh, finding that purpose is very, very important. 
and that purpose that you had decided that you were going to come into these crazy chaotic times in order to achieve uh, finding that that's key. Fears grow that two more European nations are edging closer to war after 48 chaotic hours. And, you know, here is one of the people somehow related. Um, I feel that this is one of the highest targets for uh, being taken out. <clears throat> or maybe, you know, he's on the side that ends up taking out the political rival. But either way, when I you know read the prophecies that Alois Ermiler put down, he talked about three assassinations and two of them, uh, one of them will be in the Balkans. This is the Balkans. This is Serbia and Kosovo. And we also have Armenia and Azerbaijan getting ready to go again. It, it's all just kind of coming to a head at this point in time. Serbian President Aleksandr Vucic sparked concerns across Europe after he issued a grim and enigmatic statement about the future of his country taken to social media on Tuesday. He raised alarm bells for an unspecified threat regarding both his country and the ethnically Serb Republika uh, Sparska part of Bosnia. The politician wrote on Facebook, difficult days are ahead for, uh, uh, for Serbia at this moment. It is not easy to say what kind of news we have received in the last 48 hours, but they directly threaten our vital national interests, both of Serbia and, uh, I'm not sure how you would say that, we are missing a vowel, so. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, you know, uh, Kosovo, Serbia, um, you know, it, it, it all goes back. The Balkans are one of the most beautiful places on the planet. And yet the bloodshed that's been there, and again, because of this ethnic tribalism in a negative light and also pushed by the religious differences, the Eastern Orthodox Church, the Catholic Church, uh, and then Islam, you know, in, in this is just, um, this is again another tinderbox, but that, that tinderbox has been lit consistently time and time again in generation after generation. So here you go, you know, he just says, we will fight, Serbia will win. So yet another conflict um, that may come out. And the timing of this, because this is what uh, Alois said. He said, that it, I, I know it starts in the Balkans. You will see an assassination in the Balkans, and then, uh, then it's on. Then the war is full scale. Russia goes you know, Kiev is way behind the front lines. They they go right through Ukraine very, very quickly. Uh, the dragon wakes up, invades the U.S. All this is, you know, you, you can't make it up. It's all perfectly on cue. We can see how the, the yeah, that, there's that letter too. Uh, you know, just on cue, it's all coming down exactly as scripted, unfortunately, as we are in the month of April and Haiti has been declared an open-air prison the entire country uh, as it's totally controlled by the gangs and and people when they're desperate you know more people are actually joining the gangs to enforce you know the the brutality and the chaos 1,500 Haitians have died due to gang violence so far this year it's probably way higher than that that's what UN had reported it's just chaos. It's Mad Max over in Haiti. Absolutely Mad Max. But, you know, we're kind of getting Mad Max too, as you look at, you know, 93 South and Boston. It is, you know, unraveling all around us. Somebody set themselves on fire at Union Station. Uh, this is over in D.C. A lot of craziness abounding. And if you haven't noticed all the strikes deeper and deeper into Russia, around Moscow and other areas, Belgorod, uh, they're happening in increasing frequency because what, again, they're doing is trying to get the Russian people behind the idea of this WW3. So this is uh, being called a critical defense plant 2,000 kilometers deep behind any front lines and this is another big fire uh, this is an electrical engineering plant 
Yeah, I, there's so many sleeper cells in all the countries. Now here is uh, one that will really get you thinking. Microplastics found in ancient dig sites. Ancient dig sites, as we've said, if, if you're trusting in the science of any and, and still will get people that must not listen closely or they just come in and they don't understand that when we're bringing things up saying what the science is saying, <clears throat> We're not saying we agree ever with live science, with NASA, with anything that's coming from the system, because the system in its entirety is all a bunch of lies and distortion. We've said this so clearly, and yet there's, you know, every now and then you'll get somebody making a comment, and they're probably just on too many drugs to, to see clearly themselves, or they're, you know, too much alcohol, or, you know, maybe it was a long night, who knows. Uh, maybe it's just too much frequency, you know, to, again, th the consciousness of the planet has been kept in such a low state on purpose that most people on the planet are not thinking clearly. They're not even capable of thinking clearly. And our IQs are dropping. That's another thing besides life expectancy that's been decreasing. IQs. The ability to actually think logically and clearly is, is disappearing from the planet. And it's, it's all planned. It's completely planned and orchestrated. So recent studies have revealed the presence of microplastic in ancient soil samples, challenging the long-held belief that archaeological deposits were pristine and uncontaminated. Microplastics, defined as pr plastic fragments no larger than 5 millimeters, have been discovered in soil strata dating back to the 1st or 2nd century CE, as well as in sediment cores from various environments, including urban estuaries and freshwater lakes. So the, the reality is we are so dumbed up by the science it's just beyond belief. This is a Groundhog's Day. And this happens regularly. How, how regularly does it happen? No, you're not talking 12,000 years. That's the obvious answer. It's way more often than every 12,000 years. Way more. When we've tried to get clarity on exactly how often this happens, it seems that the n number would just be absolutely mind-boggling and perplexing. So I think what we are seeing happening right now in our lives, it's probably happening like every two, three hundred years. And, you know, as far as major, major um, depopulation events, there's no other way to say it. And yet also dumbing down events and redoing things in a slightly different way. Uh, but the reality is it's just always ongoing. It's not, it's never really stopping. They just shift. Uh, they shift the perspective, but we're constantly in the end times. So those that say, look, we're in the end times. Second coming is right around the corner. Yeah, they've always thought that. There's never been a time when people didn't think that since they were given that whole perspective to you know, absorb into their consciousness in the first place. Yes, keep people in fear, keep people from self-realization. The shorter the lifespan, the easier that is to do. And and I've always had this creepy feeling that if I dug, you know, in the middle of my yard or something like that, I'd probably come across the similar roof to what I have right now. <laughs> there would just be layers of very similar civilizations layers upon layers upon layers this this is not our first rodeo we are not the pinnacle of modern man um you know everything that is new and shiny in this realm is just it's it's been done you know a hundred thousand times over again and the controllers they know this at the top they know this at the vatican all of this information is right there underneath the vatican i can feel it I can see it. Um, they keep it pretty well guarded, yet they give out just enough information, I think, karmically so that they can continue on to do their controller thing. But yeah, critical thinking is not um, is not a popular thing to be. 
they do their best in the media. They do their best in the indoctrination uh, classes to keep people from using their own minds. They do their best in the uh, fear media to keep people from being able to go within. As long as people are not able to critically think, they're always going to be looking for an answer somewhere. And th that's what the mainstream is there for. They're, they're there to uh, give the answer, be the answer, and allow people to follow them and they might even make up some something that is just really completely wonky and ridiculous for people to get on board with and follow because they can't think for themselves they have not been taught how to think in school they have been taught what to think and and who to look for to think those thoughts and that's something that we uh if we recognize that we can back out of it and you can start thinking for yourselves. And yes, life can get difficult when you start to make up your own mind. <laughs> Sometimes you don't always do the right thing. But you're you're doing your own thing. That's that's the whole point. And, and these guys were just so adorable. They are so, so cute. This must be like the funnest game on the planet for them on a daily basis for all three of them. Yeah, they have humanity chasing its own tail and, you know, making these theological schools and, and medical schools and political science schools that they know lead to just that, chasing your tail, getting absolutely nowhere. These, these are rabbit holes that have been given to us on purpose to absorb our consciousness into that they know don't have any answers. They only lead back to the same old system and the same old Groundhog's Day experience. They don't want you shutting the system out. They don't want you saying, I'm going to just basically go within. Um, I'm going to try to disconnect myself from this system as much as possible, at least for periods of time. You know, just say, uh, for instance, you are able to do things like pick and choose when you're going to go on a vacation. Instead of that vacation at a luxurious resort surrounded by hundreds of other people, you know, maybe go take a mountain vacation somewhere that's really quiet, uh, somewhere where you could be totally cut off from technology. Spend a week cut off from technology and just absorb yourself in yourself and see what develops. You know, again, they sell us what the ideal is. They sell us everything from, you know, the home, the house, the car, the, the you know, the... the all the bling and everything, you know, making us think certain things are equal success. Those things that equal success just equal success for the system, keeping us in the system. As always, guys, source bless and namaste. Namaste.